Supporters, all fans are invited to the Central Field House for a post game party to celebrate with the team following tonight's game. This park is still not after from the uh, Lincoln Angle side. Hope to see you there. And now, would you please stand and honor our country with our national anthem? Please remove your hats. and welcome to this level three playoff game between the Oak Creek Knights and the West Dallas Central Bulldogs. It should be a fairly good game today. Oak Creek coming in this game is 11-0 and Central I believe won the 8-3 this year so far. So two pretty good teams facing off in this really bitter cold one. It's, and it's the coldest it's been this year so far at a football game so we should see how the team's doing, they're really in the very cold. The wind is coming about 10 to 20 miles an hour, so it should make it even colder in this football game tonight. Old Creek is, is, has elected to kick off to these Bulldogs, and Central is gonna go out and receive the ball. The Knights will kick off. Travis Beckham will kick off for the Knights. Travis Beckham will be kicking off for the Knights. They changed, they changed their kicker. I don't know why, but it seems to give Travis Beckham a try kicking off in this playoff game. The Oak Creek, stand, the Oak Creek Knights stands are, fans are really pumped up as the Night Vision Productions gave away cheer six. And so the crowd is just full of them. It looks, it looks pretty cool, actually. And we're ready to go. There's the whistle. And a kick off by Beckham. It's a nice kick. And that goes in the end zone, so that's going to be a touchback. Central's going to start at, the tw at their own 20. Since she'll start from their own 20. 
They're running with the single back. And kind of like an Oak Creek formation with the wings. That's just an Oak Creek formation right there. And he goes in motion. And they do a reverse. And he gets only gets about maybe two yards. Actually more like five on that play. Pretty nice opening play from play from Central. So Mario Evans made the tackle on the play. So it's going to be second down and five. Second and six at the 24-yard line. I'm sure Central has looked at Oak Creek's formations this year and see how they run the ball. Give them an idea what they're going to be looking for. Oak Creek is, has had an awesome defensive line this year. And has, it's a give to the fullback. Off the middle, that's probably going to be only about maybe one two-yard gain at the most. And so it's going to bring a third down. Mario Evans is the ninth tackle, the second one in the game. Third and three for the, for the Bulldogs at their own 27. Run with the two back set, split backs. One wing. And the handoff 21 off the right side. And looks like that's going to be enough for a first down. It's going to be first and 10 central. Ryan Anderson with the tackle. That's a West Dallas Central first down. Anderson makes the tackle on the play. So it'll be first and 10 on the 33 yard line for the Central Bulldogs. Central's running the two wing set with, the, with, the, with their single back. Quarterback under center. And, and, and the reverse off the left side. Stop. By Prefer. So that's going to be about a two yard gain. So this is going to be his second eight. Central gets out of that huddle pretty quick, so they don't take a lot of time off the clock between plays, which is pretty good. And right now they have their one wing and two wideouts. Two wings, two wideouts, and a single back. No tight ends. So let's see if they run out this way. Hand off to the right side, and he gets through. Take it down. Hit last by, I think Jerry Grant Brown's going to get take credit for that tackle. So it's going to be a first and 10 for Central. First down Central. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. The pass off to the left was incomplete, covered by Mike Wilding. And there's a flay on the play. Let's see what that's all about. Yeah, it should be an illegal shift. Illegal motion on the Bulldogs. So that's going to be a penalty on the Bulldogs if the Oak Creek elects to take it. And they will. If I have a penalty, it's going to be. Repeat first down, so be first and 15. It's a really cold one out here tonight. It's bitter. It's cold and we're outside, so and the wind makes it all the more colder. So it's going to be first and 15 for the central. Under center motion. Give art the middle. Gets absolutely nowhere. Oak Creek's line just stuffs that play from where it started. Me, there's loss in the play. I don't think it's enough more than a yard, but it's going to be second and 15, second and long 15, so maybe second and 16. Second and 16. Yeah, Central shown they can kind of move the ball tonight so far, so let's see how Knights defense responds to Central's game plan. 8.45 lives in the first, quarterback under center. Man in motion. And the reverse off the left, snuffed up. They tried that at play against the third time they tried that play. Oak Creek stops it. Raymond Henderson with the tackle on the play. Third down and short 15. And maybe third and 14. 
I'm pretty sure Central's gonna come up passing, so I could respond to this. They're running with their two wings set and their two wide outs. No tight ends and one back. All of in the center. And they give off to the right. And he's... He got a pretty good amount, maybe seven yards in the play, but maybe eight. But he is stopped short of first down. So Central's going to be forced to punt. The fourth and seven on their own 40. On the 46. So they're going to be punting. Jerry Brown's ready to receive, and Oakley takes the time out. Oak Creek hasn't really had much opposition this year. So Central might pose maybe a little bit of a threat to him or maybe give him some competition because they haven't really had that much. Central came out looking pretty good and then I don't know what they tried to do there, but she came out throwing and got a penalty, put him back, and the Knights just, their defense stumped him, didn't let him get a first down. So, so that ends up to be fourth and seven. Oh, after, and after the Oakley came out, Central should be punting. And Jerry Brown will be returning it. If you remember last game, Jerry Brown had three good returns. One took him all the way back to the 10-yard line, two touchdown returns. So, showed a lot of effort, and he had a really good game last game. So, see what we can do in this. Level 3 playoff game. And Central is going to be punting. And the snap by Central isn't too bad. And not a good punt. Not a very good punt at all. Yeah, we only made a uh, 15 yard punt. It was a really bad punt. So it's going to be a first and ten for a kick at the 32. <laughs> so Oakley's going to come out on the wishbone. And they motion out. To two wideouts and two in a wing. And Mornson with the give up the middle to Devin Johnson. To Devin Johnson. Picks up about three. So maybe four. So it's going to be in a, a second and six. The 36 yard line. Six. Seven minutes left in the first quarter. It's Oak Creek's first drive of the game. Wish Oak Creek in the wish one. And Mornson with the give to Devin Johnson, and he is stuffed at the line. So it's going to be third and six. Central's showing a lot of fight in this game so far. Old Cricket was the favorite margin coming into the game. Ranked number one in the state. Central had that big overtime win against Hamilton to get into level three. She's showing a lot of spirits. Oak Creek with running no backs, or actually one back. And Morton's up the middle. And he might have enough for a first down, but there is a flag on the play. And it's against Oak Creek. There you go, shift on Oak Creek's beautiful. Five yard penalty and you're gonna repeat the down. It's probably gonna be about third and eleven. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The game accept the penalty, it will be third and twelve. Go, go, go. So that kinda hurts so quick guys, and I'll be at certain long Ryan Young entering the game, he has a tight end for Oak Creek. And see what Creek does. They're running two two wide receivers on the same side and two wingbacks and then a fullback. 
as Mortensen's on the center. He sets back the throw. And he is sacked. Mortensen dropped to the back throw. And so this will be a fourth down. Oak Creek's going to have to punt. They came with a, looked like a corner blitz off the right because Oak Creek had all their receivers on the, actually a blitz off the left because Oak Creek had all their receivers on the right and Dave didn't even see it. And so he was dropped in the backfield. So Oak Creek's going to have to punt. They haven't punted much this year. Fourth and 18. So let's, Mortensen back to punt it away. Good snap. Good punt from Mortensen. And it's fielded. And he steps out of bounds. Mortensen's punt returned by Cody Morrissey to the. Fairly good return. Travis Beckham just got blocked. Picked him up five more yards as he goes out of bounds. So just about at midfield as Central is going to get. Really good starting position to start off their second drive of the game. Only five minutes left in the first quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Hand off to the left. He is tackled for about a two-yard gain. Scott Thompson making a nice play on the uh, nice tack on the play came off the, the back side to make the hit so it's gonna be second and eight from Oak Creek's 49 yard line but he set back the pass And the pass is incomplete. Looks like uh, Chess Beckham had a chance of intercepting that ball, but the Central player just pretty much knocked it away from Beckham. He didn't have a good chance to catch it, so it's going to be third and eight. That was a good play by the wire here, not letting the interception. They're in a t tight formation. And hand off to the left. And he's got some room to run. And he gets a good, really good gain, takes it down to maybe the seven yard line. And where he gets tackled by Travis Beckham. Good play in pursuit, but that's gonna be a first and goal for West Dallas Central. Oh, take it on the three. And there's a flag on the play. There was a flag on the play at the proper face mask penalty. Of face mask penalty. had to distance to the goal. Half the distance to the goal. It's supposed to be a uh, first and goal from about the one and a half. The at about the one and a half yard line. off to 44th the middle and that's touchdown West South Central he's in for six as it's West South six Oak Creek nothing and Central trying for the extra point Point is good, so it's seven nothing West Dallas. West Dallas Central Bulldogs seven. Oak Creek Knights nothing. So West Dallas is the 
First one's on the board and then seven nothing with about four minutes left in the first quarter. About three thirty eight actually left in the first quarter. So the the hopefully the Knights will come back and with with a screw on their drive. They were hurt on the last side with the penalty. Morrison did have a first down there run until you know, thir uh, third and long, and Morrison was sacked when they were forced to pass. Nice this crowd's going pretty crazy right now. So Central's gonna kick off and Keith Yosemovich and Robert Rothy are ready to return. And Paul Solomon picks it up and he is taken out of bounds at about the 40. So Oak Creek's gonna get a fairly good field position. It's the first and 10 from about the 39 in the 40 yard line. Maybe 38. Rose returns to the 38 yard line. First and 10 makes. So, first and 10 for the Knights. Oak Creek in their traditional wishbone. More to understand. And the handoff it to keep the snowman. She's hit about right at the line, so it's not much of a gain. Alex Stonehouse on the tackle. He's gonna bring up a second down. One of the second and nine. Second and ten. And, and Rothy fumbles the ball, and Central recovers. Come on, come on ball. So West Dallas could capitalize it through the fumble by Rothy. Would have been a really good play for Rothy with uh, the speed in the corner, but he drops the ball. So uh, Central is going to get a, a first and ten from the 32. Chance to cap on go 14. Nothing. Hopefully, Oak Creek's defense and stop him. And Central is under center. And he sent back the pass. And he falls down, so the pass is incomplete. So we're gonna have second and ten. It looked like Rothy and the receiver tripped over each other's feet. And so the pass sailed over their heads as no one was around the ball at all. So the pass is incomplete. It's coming up a second and ten from the 32. And central into the center. And the handoff off to the right. Travis Beckham, great tackle right at the line. Maybe one or two on that. Very good tackle by Travis Beckham. So it's gonna be second and eight from the 30. Or third and eight from the 30. With about 2.15 left in the first quarter. Central's up seven nothing. Off Oak Creek's fumble, they, they do have the ball. And handoff to the left side. And he's tackled by Scott Thompson. Adam Rotek on the carry. 
and is going to move the chains to the ring behind the ah, central first down. Curry is good for a first down at the 20 yard line. First and 10, Bulldogs at the Knights 20. Central's in the red zone, Let's see what they can do in here. First and 10 from the 20. Hand off fullback, give up the middle, and it picks up a pretty pretty good chunk of yards. Move that down the play. Travis Beckham on the tackle. The second and two. Second and two. And 12. And first down, first and goal from Central to two, and Jerry Brown makes a stop on the play. I'm going to to go in the first quarter as Central looks to capitalize on the Oak Creek fumble. Play. And the ball's dead, is there a flag on the play? Give me a. Looks like it's illegal substitution. The call. Illegal substitution. So that's what the call is. So it's gonna be a five-yard penalty. Five-yard penalty. First and goal. First and goal from the seven for Central. Six yard line. Oh, quick trying to stop this Central. Offense. First and go from the six, and the handoff off to the right, and he's hitting the backfield right at the line. Back and hits it right at the line. And that's in the first quarter. What's your score? Russell Central Bulldogs 7 Old Creek Creek nothing. As they switch sides and I'll be second and goal from the six when we come back in the second quarter. Second quarter, as Central will be first, in, second in goal from the seven, going in Oak Creek off. They got the ball after Oak Creek fumble by Robert Rothy, so they have a chance to go up 14 nothing. Hopefully the Knights defense can stop him right here, maybe force a field goal or make him go for a fourth down when they get the ball back. So Central's gonna have a second and second in goal from the seven. And a handoff to the right side, and he's got down to about the two yard line. So it's gonna be a third, third and goal from about the two. Third and goal at the two yard line. Third and goal, and the handoff to the left side, and he's hit 
by Raymond Henderson in the backfield right when he gets the ball. So we're on fourth down. Loss of four. So it was the fourth and goal from about the five and a half. Lost about three and a half on that play. And looks like Central's gonna be going for it. No, they're gonna kick the field goal. Or try to attempt a not a very far field goal. About 22 yarder. Snap is good and the kick is go is good. So it's 10 nothing. So Bulldogs. Score, West Valley Central 10, Knights, Oak Creek Knights, nothing. It was very good defense by the Knights on that play. It was our first and goal from the two, Knights made a couple good plays, knocked them back after the penalty, so they ended up going through, had them do about 22 yard field goal. That's all they got on the board, so it's 10 nothing Bulldogs. Knights do have to do some capitalize, or move the ball in this possession. Haven't had much success against this Bulldogs defense. And it's a play big playoff game, so the Knights have to do uh Buster Lawrence and Solomon Deep for the Knights. So I'm gonna have Paul Salmon and Keith the Gustinovich deep. Turning the ball. Central's a pretty unique uh, kicking defense, kicking style. And Gus Norris fields it about his own five. And he gets a hole. And nice return from Keith the Gus Turn Turning from the five to about the 35. So Oak Creek's gonna have a first and ten from their own 35-yard line. Morris on the tackle. Oh. Augusta Norris going back to the 35-yard line. First and ten nights. Their own 35. First and ten. Uh, Oak Creek in the West Zone. And the snap to Morrison is a uh, give up to Devin Johnson up the middle. And he gets about two. Seven Johnson on the carry. So it's like about a second and eight. Second and seven. From what, second and what? What seven from the 39 yard line? 38 yard line. Morris in under center. And the handoff. Devin Johnson up the middle. You know, you know for a first down. About a 10 yard pickup. So O'Creek gets the first first down. First and 10 for O'Creek. Very good block in a for O'Creek. As an as option, Morris in red to hand off to Devin Johnson. Picks up 10 yards. Pretty very good yard. It's good choice by Morris in it's going to be a first and ten for Creek with about nine and a half minutes in this first half. The West Dallas Central 10 will kick nothing. <sighs> oh, DeMorrison back to pass. Pass is underthrown. Intercepted. He went on the interception of Morrison pass. First and ten Bulldogs at the... Really, Morrison couldn't really get a grip on that ball. He underthrew it and... Central just picked it off. So, what's the Central's going to get a chance off another little quick turnover. First and ten. From the, they're on 34. Hand off up the right side. Picks up about two or three. 
Andy Hubert on the carry. Tackled by Ian Schlick. Pick up a four, second and six. Aaron Schlick made the tackle on the play. He's playing for Mario Evans right now. Second and six. Hand off off the left side. In the backfield by Oak Creek. Little one yard long, so we move third and seven. Stop by the middle of the main line. So it's the third and seven. For West Dallas. And do the maybe a f against the Bulldogs. False start. So it'll be a five yard penalty. It'll be a third and twelve. The Bulldogs. Five yard penalty. Peter comes out of the game and Madam Winor checks in as the linebacker. In the third and twelve, Central probably will be passing. And the reverse left side. Tackle by Travis Beckham, well short of first down. So that's going to bring him a fourth down. And Central is going to be punting. It's the fourth time they've tried that play. Maybe worked once. Oh, quick. This Red Hat stayed home. And Travis Beckham made a nice tackle from the back on that play. So seven minutes left to play in this first half. Is oh, quick's going to get the ball off of the Fourth time. And there's a flag. That's some rough in the kicker. So that should be a, be a central f first down. It was a bad snap, and Robert Roth was right in his face. And but you just can't tackle the punter. You got to give him room. And so it's gonna should be a first down for for Central. The penalty will put in both arms and first down. Ball will be placed at the Oak Creek 38 yard line. First and 10 Bulldogs. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bulldogs from the Oak Creek's 48. And Central under the center. And it's a handoff to the left side. And that's to be another Central first down. First down, Bulldogs. Double was by Mike Rowley. First and 10 Bulldogs at the 35 yard line. The Knights got to stop West Dallas from really moving the ball. And I don't think the Knights want to go down. It's by 17. So it's first and 10 from the Bulldogs. From Oak Creek's 35. Hand off to the right. And he is stuffed right at the line by Oak Creek's line. Should be about a second and 10. Mario Evans on the tackle. 
Lots of work. Second eleven. So second and eleven. Thirty West Dallas. A loss of one on that play. <laughs> Hand off to left of 20. He has some running room, but he gets dropped. And almost a 30 yard line, about 31 or so. I saw it's maybe third and seven. Only about a four yard pickup. <laughs> Third and seven for West Dallas. And he's throwing, he's gonna be back and throwing. And that's overthrown. And overthrown, oh, quick guys, John West looked, trying to catch that ball. Didn't have much of a plan, so it's gonna be fourth down and seven. And Central will probably be going for it just because of where they are. So Central is going to be going for it. It's 4th down and 7 from the 32. From Oak Creek's 32. And he's going to be throwing again. And it is overthrown. Great play by Roth Robert Roth did knock it away in the back of the end zone. So let's turn over on downs and Oak Creek's going to get the ball. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. What a good defense by Robert Rothy. He did he was guys a little bit ahead of him and he just jumped up and knocked it away. Maybe went off Central's one guy's hand, but now it's gonna be Oak Creek Spa. So the first and ten from their own 32. And Morrison on the keeper. Hit by breaks two tackles. Picks up about two. Pick up by one second and nine. So it's gonna be second and nine. About four and a half minutes left in the play and a half. And running the option off the right, Mortensen looks for some running room and he gets hit. Maybe picks up about one. Mortensen on the play, tackled by Kenny Coleman. This will be about third and eight. Third and seven. Oh, keep looking for another first down. Got plenty of time, and he's going to run. And he's going to pick up a first down. Great play by David Morrison. Nowhere to throw, and so he just takes off and makes a grip. After knowing where that first down marker is, and picks up a first down. So it's a first and ten for Oak Creek with about three and a half minutes left in the first half. First and ten minutes at the 43 yard line. It's a great play by David Watson. Read the defense and made a nice effort for it to get that first down. And a handoff up the middle, Devin Johnson, and he picks up what? Two before he's hit. Johnson on the carry. Pick up uh, the ball three. So we've got second and seven. seven. The winner of this game goes to the semifinals. So Oak Creek looking to try to do that. Second and seven. 
and the keeper up the middle, and Devin Johnson's got some running room, and that's the Oak Creek first down. Okay, by Johnson, first down. Devin Hoover on the tackle. Two and a half minutes left in this first half. Oak Creek moving Jackson, the ball. First and ten from Central's 38. Give up the and Morrison's gonna keep it. Morrison on the keeper. He's gonna pick up about five. So it's gonna be a second and five on the 33. But two minutes left in this first half. Fumble snap and Morris is going to keep it and might have enough for the first time. Pretty close. Officials find out. And looks like the officials are going to measure. A minute and a half left in this first half. Checking for a first down. It looks that way. If not, it's gonna be a third in inches, real close. <laughs> and short by maybe two inches. So it's gonna be a third in real short for Oak Creek. Third down and inches for Oak Creek. And Morrison on the keeper and the pitch to Rob Rothy. He's around the corner and he's dropped. And about the maybe five yard line. Great play by the Knights. First and goal going in. First and goal for the Knights at the five yard line. Morrison was getting hit and threw pitch out to Rob Rothy with that speed around the corner. Man, that's a timeout for Los Dallas. <laughs> Why not take a moment to visit the Booster Club Snack Bar located at the south end of the field? We carry a wide variety of snacks including popcorn, hot dogs, and pizza. All proceeds like the Booster Club support West Dallas Central's athletic team. My hands are just, my, my left hand. Keep yelling, come on, let's see! Let's go! So it's a uh, first and goal from the five for Oak Creek. Going in to put some points on the board. It's extremely cold out here. Oak Creek showing a lot of spirit in this cold weather. Those cheer sticks, so it's gonna be first and goal from the five, the minute 13 after Central's timeout. And you can hear the crowd working in the wishbone. And they give up to Devin Johnson right up the middle. Touch, touchdown, Oak Creek. 10 to 6 now. Central still has lead. It was 10 to 6. Oak Creek put some points on the board. Five yard pickup by Devin Johnson. Just enough for a touchdown. So. Josh Herman. He's gonna come on for the extra point. Try to make it 10 to seven. Low snap. And the kick is good. 
So it's 10 to 7 now. The minute six of minute six up in this first half. Russell is 10. Oh, Greek style. Travis Beckham sets the kickoff for the Knights. And the kick. Very good kick. That's going to be fielded about the 15 yard line from West Dallas. And get some running room. Pick up about to the 35 yard line. Minute 58 seconds left to go in the first half. First and 10 for West Dallas. Oh, Chris got to watch out for the pass. I'm sure they'll see it from West Dallas since they got to go pretty much the, a great chunk of the field to get a touchdown. About 65 yards for a touchdown. So, about 58 seconds. That's pretty tough to do against all Chris defense. So I'm sure we'll see some passing. First and 10 at the 35. And the handoff on the right is dropped right at the line. Tetsamaya makes the tackle right at the line. Second 11 was lost in the play. A 35 second move from the half. Hand off to the left side. And he is whacked by John West. What a hit. And that should be the first half. Jerry Rundman made the tackle, but John West is clabbered on. And that's going to be the first half. And your score is going to be Oak Creek 7, West Dallas Central, Bulldogs 10. Oak Creek is going to go in the locker room and make some changes. Come out, hopefully, come out and win this game. So we'll see you in the second half. An important reminder to all fans, the West Dallas Sports Complex. As Central put up 10 points and our lead the Knights are now 10 to 7. Oak Creek is going to receive the ball to start the second half. So Oak Creek should and hopefully they come back and turn this game around and put the game in their favor so they can go to the semifinals. The momentum is on, on Oak Creek's side is Oak Creek gave away the ball twice on two turnovers, one interception, once a fumble. And since we only got three points out of it, so then on the last drive before the half, the minute left, Oak Creek put seven points on the board, so it's gonna it's gonna be ten it's ten seven central. Oak Creek's gonna receive as about a minute and thirty five seconds left before we start the second half. It is extremely cold out here. And there's about a 5 10 mile an hour wind. Only makes it a little bit colder. The Knights have the option for the start of the second half that they have chosen to receive. <sighs> so the Knights the are going to receive. Pick off from the Second half. South of the field. And then see what the Knights can do as uh, the both teams warm up before the second half begins. Oh, 
So here we go, the second half is ready to begin. As both teams are just going to have to bring up their receive and kick their special teams on the field. And then we'll be ready to go. So the score is West South Central 10 and Oak Creek 7. That was a, good, that was a pretty good play for first half. Oak Creek with only a, with a couple turnovers that hurt them, but West Dallas could only get three points out of it. And Oak Creek has pretty much shut them down. They scored on their opening drive, and that's that was the only time they really scored. So, back deep for the night is Keith Agustinovich and Paul Solomon. They're gonna, or maybe Robert Rothley. There's three of them back there. Trying to get all, trying to get warm for this. And Central comes out with their, it's a weird looking kickoff. They just have two lines and one guy fakes and the other guy kicks. So, last time, last return, Oak Creek got a pretty, really nice return. Keith the Ghost was caught at the five and got all the way to 35. Broke it, if he would have broken another tackle, he'd been gone. So, let's see how they do on this one. So Paul Solomon and Keith Gustinovich are back to return. And it's fielded off a one bounce. And John West picks up some room. He gets almost to midfield, but to the 47 yard line. So, so Cook's gonna get really good position. First and 10 from the Knights, almost in midfield. Pretty short field to work with here. Not that long, only about half the field to go. So Oak Creek could put on, take the lead off this drive. Let's see how they do. So they're gonna come out in the wish run. Morrison's gonna be near the center. And Devin Johnson up the middle from about again a five. Devin Johnson on the carry. Tom Scholar on the tackle. So it's going to be a second and five. Second and five, second and five. Yeah. Okay, we're going to wish one again. The 49 yard line. And the ball is given to Devin Johnson again. That's going to be a first down for Oak Creek, and they're moving the chains. So Oak Creek comes out running the ball. Devin Johnson picks up two first downs. And it's going to be first and ten from Central's 43. And it's probably gonna be a false start. I don't know Creeks is with probably a five yard penalty to bring up third or first and fifteen. So it is a false start against Oak Creek. So it's gonna be a first and fifteen. Five yard penalty makes a first and fifteen. From the thirty eight yard line. that's a setback for the Knights with this first down so fifteen yards to go. Oak Creek with two split ends, John West and Travis Beckham. I 
Another flag, a dead ball flag on the play. This might be against Central. Encroachment. The encroachment on West Allen. So let's just put it back to first and ten. Back at the 43. So it's back to where it began off two penalties. First and ten for the Knights. And that's a keeper for Dave Moore. It's right up the middle. And that's probably enough for a first down, but there is a flag on the player. And all picks back for the illegal, sh illegal shift. I guess the Knights. So it's going to cancel the play in the first and 15. So that play is canceled out by the penalty, so it's going to be first and 15 for the Knights. 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Two penalties in a row. So the same play, Mortensen going up the middle. Mortensen picks up about five. Pick up a five. So you have second and ten. On the tackle. Second and ten. So second and ten. Mornson gonna hand off but he gets hit in the backfield trying to get away, so it's gonna be a third and ten. No gain on the play. Pumble was made by Peter Fowler. and 10 for Oak Creek with two wide, wide receivers. And that's going to be a dead ball penalty. So you're going to throw another penalty against Oak Creek. So it's going to be a five yard penalty against the Creek. False start should be third and 15. So there's a series of penalties for Oakley. Trying to not find their gains in the straps. It's going to be a long third and 15. At about the Central's 48. Rothy gets hand takes the ball off the left and he is dropped at about the line. So that's it. Yeah, up fourth down and Oak Creek's gonna have the punt. Stop by Peter Fowler. That brings up fourth and fifteen for the Knights. So Will Cook's going to punt. David Morrison back to receive the punt. Now. 
Bay of Game, Oak Creek, Four for 20. So this will be the delay of game against Oak Creek, somewhere in fourth and 20 now. Oak Creek's Creek. still going to punch. Morton back 20 away. Morton back 20 away. Punch snaps a little bit high, but punch is not that good. It's Ball is found at the Ball's about the 24 yard line. 23 yard line. For Central so on 23. Central's gonna be first drive of the game of this second half is to be first and ten from their own 23. After a bad series by Oak Creek. A lot of penalties. Official timeout. Official timeout. So. So Central's going to get a first and 10 from their own 23. And hand off the reverse off the right side. And that's going to be enough for a first down. Well played by Jerry Bieber. Hold on first down. That was made by number 27, John West. So John West makes the tackle on the play. Up the middle for the 10-yard gain. So it's be first attempt for the Bulldogs at the 34-yard line. And there's a handoff for up the middle. And he's pretty much hit at the line. Gets a couple, a couple, three or actually gets off. Just give him a good spot. So it's about four. Second and six. Second and six. <sighs> and it's a handoff. A fumble. Travis Beckham picks up the ball. And he's going to be touched on Oak Creek Knights. Wow. It'll be a quick six for Oak Creek. This will be 13 to 10. There's a handoff and he gets, looks like he got popped by Scott Thompson. The ball went flying in the air right to Travis Beckham. He broke a tackle and he was just gone for six. So Josh Herman's gonna try to keep the six point and make it 14 to 10. <laughs> and next one is good, so Oak Creek gets the lead. First time in this game, it's Oak Creek 14. Rosal is 10. Does have the lead now in this game. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Oak Creek 14. West Dallas 10. And that's a squibber and it's gonna be fielded about the 15. And he is dropped at about the 20 yard line, only about five yard return. 
worked on by Paul Sheen. First and 10 Bulldogs at the 21 yard line. So about a five yard return. It's going to be first and 10 from the Bulldogs at the 21 yard line. I'll pick Camp lines up the turnover, picks up seven. So take the lead, 14 and 10. And there's that reverse again. And Oak Creek stops it only about a three yard gain. So it's going to be a first and six or seven from the 24. Second and six. And it'll hand off to 44, and he's hit the line. And it picks up a buck. Two or three, and there's a flag on the play. The late flag. So that's going to be a 15 on our penalty. It's going to give Central a first down. They are the full penalty. Back bottom against the Knights. That will bring up the first and 10 for the Bulldogs at the 143 on the line. And it's another reverse from Central, and it's stopped by Reem Henderson. Picks up about two on the play. It's going to be about second and eight after the penalty. Reem Henderson on the tackle. Reem Henderson with a nice play. He just saw that coming and just stopped second it. Second and eight. It's going to be about second and eight. So Central gets the first down to penalty and pick up two yards. So it'll be second and eight. At the 44, at their own 44. <laughs> and hand off to the left side and he's hit by John Weston he's going to bring a third down third and one from the so it's be third and short for Central. And the handoff right at the middle. And he hits that's enough for a first down. So Central's gonna get a new set of downs. First down Bulldogs. And uh, off to the left side. And it's another, not maybe a two yard, three yard gain, but it's going to be a penalty on the, f on the play. Looks like it's going to be holding against Central. Well, the uh, referees have thrown a lot of flags tonight. Not, not really letting them get away with anything, so it's going to be a 10 yard penalty against Central and that's gonna be it's re repeat the down but it's gonna be first and twenty instead of first and ten. So Central's got a long way to go. Three minutes left in the third quarter, first and twenty for Central. And 
to reverse and it's a fumble and he picks up the ball but his knee is down so it's going to be a, a loss on the play So it's going to be second and 22 for the Bulldogs. And he is... Hit in the backfield, or just might have fell, but he's, that's another loss. That's another, maybe another two yard loss to maybe three, so it'll be third and 24 or 25. Expect to see a pass from Central. Third and 25. It's going to be a third and, I guess it's 22, and there's going to be a penalty. <laughs> and it's the layup game against West Dallas, so it's going to be another, it's going to be a five-yard penalty. So it looks about... A third and 30. It's a long way to go. Oak Creek will be expecting a pass. It's a handoff up the middle. He's got some room. And he's taken down well short of first town. So West South Central is probably is going to be punting on like fourth and fifteen. Looks like they just gave up on that series. What right did the run? Tackle was made by Jerry Brown. Jerry Brown makes the tackle play. So it's fourth and fourth and uh, sixteen or seventeen. So Central's going to punt. And Jerry Brown's just going to let it go, and so Central's going to take the ball dead end. So it's only first and 10 Oak Creek from their own 17. see first and ten for the Knights from their own 17 or 23 seconds in the third quarter. And Morrison's going to give it to uh, Devin Johnson. Johnson on the carry. Only picks up a couple. Back by the middle of the Bulldog line. Second and seven. Three yard gain. So Second and seven. That's gonna be in the third quarter with your score. The Knights fourteen, the Bulldogs ten. So the teams are going to switch sides, and it's going to be the fourth quarter. They'll creak up by four, 14 to 10. <laughs> so 
This is going to be second and eight from their 019. Morton's on the keeper and he's going to get hit. Morton shows it on the keeper. He's going to be hit behind the lines. He's going to be going third and about nine. Loss on the play. So third and nine from the 18 yard line. And Morrison back to pass. And the pass is through Augustinovich's hands. Morrison had him, and Key just dropped it. So Creek is forced to punt. So Creek is punting. One, two, three. Point is down at the and it's so not a long punt, but the Bulldogs have a really short field at Oak Creek's Bulldogs are hit the ball at Oak Creek's 43. So it's gonna be first and ten. With 10.57 left in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs were penalized badly in the last series, so they're gonna try again. And it's gonna be handoff to number 20 on the right side, and he's stuffed by Oak Creek. And it's going to be a 15 yard penalty on Scott Thompson. They're going to say it's a personal foul after the play threw him down, which Old Creek fans don't really agree with. But that's going to give the Bulldogs first down. 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. First down, Bulldogs. First and 10 at the right 28 yard line. So first and 10 for the Bulldogs at the Knights 28. And he's back to throw. Pass is incomplete. That was good coverage by Mike Wilding. He tapped, almost intercepted it, almost hit in the air. Mike Wilding on a coverage. Very nice at inside position and jumped up and just couldn't bring it down. So it's incomplete in the end zone. So we have second and 10 from the Knights 29 yard line. Scott Thompson just stops him. It'll be a one yard pickup. We have a third down. Scott Thompson with the tackle. Um, I seen him play basketball. I don't believe it. And he's back to pass, and Prince Amali's chasing him down, and... Yeah! 
He was sacked by Travis Beckham. Or maybe it's a no gain. It looks like he got lost. Yeah, he was sacked by Travis Beckham. He pushed out of bounds. It's still a sack, so it's going to be bringing about fourth down. And fourth and ten, fourth and eleven, and Central's going to go for it here in the fourth quarter with 90 minutes to play. Here comes Justin Prefer. And the throw is incomplete. Knocked away by Rob Rothy. That's a bit turnover. All kicks ball. And all kick with the ball on the first and ten from starting from their own 29. Great defense by the Knights. And it was injured in the play. It looks like Rob Rossi when he came down on that leg. And it's the official's timeout because they got to move Rossi by the box. So. So Oak Creek's gonna hit the ball at the first and ten from their own 29. Off a great defensive series by the Knights. After that penalty. And Rothy's gonna get out, so we're gonna start a play with nine minutes to go. Eight to six left in this fourth quarter. Oak Creek's up 14 to 10, and they're gonna have the ball. Play. That's going to be a false start on the Knights. It's going to be a fighter penalty, first and 15. Off of the middle of Orlando Lewis, he's got some running room, and he's gonna get a Oak Creek first down for about a game of 20 on the play. First down, Oak Creek. First down for the Knights at the 34 yard line. So a 20 yard pickup, first down for the Knights. What a hole, what a play of Orlando Lewis. And this gets the sa same handoff to Orlando Lewis, only picks up a couple. Orlando Lewis on the play. Tackle made by Zach Olson. Pick up a four, second and six. Oh, he picks up four in the play, so second and six. Now for Atlanta Lewis off the left side, he's got some room. That's a face mask. And that's going to be an Oak Creek first down, and the face mask is on the play. First down, Oak Creek. Face mask penalty against the Bulldogs. And turned his head, so they're going to give him 15 yards. 
15 yard penalty. That really, that's from the end of the run, so that's gonna really hurt the Bulldogs. Hey, Nick, I'm on a battery. What? So, after the penalty, it's going to be first and ten from the Central's 26. What oh, Central takes time up? 7:54 left in this game. Oh, Chris got the lead and the ball. You're just really gashing the Central's defense right now. Much better blocking and running than there was in the first half. So see, it's 14 and 10. First and 10 for the Knights. Trying to capitalize and go by it. Go by 11 points. Make it a two score game. Hand off to Orlando Lewis, he's tackled the line, didn't have much of a hole to go to, it, so no gain. Corey Cortez with the tackle. Second and ten. So it's going to be second and ten. Second and ten for the Knights. And the handoff to Devin Johnson picks up a no gain on the play. Johnson on the carry. No, actually Great puts up on about four. So it's going to bring up a third and six. Third and six. I would think the Knights are probably going to run rounds here just because where they are in the field they don't get this so it's going to be third and six and they keeper Devin Johnson and Johnson on the carry. picks up about two tackle made by Kenny Coleman fourth and four fourth and four for the Knights So, the Knights are going to take a timeout. Timeout, Oak Creek. Rolls out the pass. And the throw is complete. For an Oak Creek first down. Pass is incomplete. I guess they're ruling it incomplete now. So it's going to be Bulldogs first and 10 from the own oh, 19. One official ruled it complete, and another said it was incomplete. So First and ten for the Bulldogs. There's only six minutes to play left in this game. Oh, 
handoff, a reverse off to the left side. Jesse Biggs running on the carry. Tackle made by Ryan Anderson. Anderson makes a tackle on the play. Pickup of six, second and four. Official timeout. Pickup of six, so it's going to be second and four. Handoff off the left side, and he is hit right at the line. Maybe a one yard pickup. Adam Rotek on the carry. So it's going to be a third and long two, maybe three. Third and long two, maybe three. Clock's going down about five minutes left in this game. What a third and three from 25. Handoff off to the left side. That's going to be enough for a first down. Central. First down. Tackle was made by Scott Thompson. Four and a half minutes left in the play. 14 to 10 Oak Creek. Driving is central, first and 10 from the 36. And the reverse off to the right again. The Oak Creek pretty much stuffs that. So then maybe a one year pickup. Maybe two, so it's going to be about second and eight. Mike Wilding on the tackle. Four minutes up to play. Second and eight on the 36 set line. Hand off to the right, to the left side. Got some running room. Oh man, that's enough for that's easily a first down. Picks up a good game. Pushed out of bounds by. So he's pushed out of bounds by John West, and that's not a first and ten for the Bulldogs. First and ten Bulldogs are at the 33 yard line. First and ten from the 32 is 3:47. Off the left side, and he trips, and it's about a one-yard pickup. Third and eight from the 32. Actually, falls in the backfield, so it's going to be about a second and 11. Loss of one. One-yard loss. It's a handoff, it's a reverse to the right. And Oak Creek stuffs that play. Well, a two yard pickup, so it's gonna be a third and nine. Third short with the tackle. Third and nine. Under three minutes to play. Third and nine, a crucial third and nine for Simple. It's going to be two on territory. They're going to have to go for on fourth if they don't get here. And they're... Oh, Oak Creek's 41. 39 for Central. Two and a half minutes to play. And he sets back the pass. And the pass is incomplete. Fourth and nine. So it's going to be fourth and nine. And the 41, Central has to go for this. Two, and two minutes, 19 left of, two minutes, 19 seconds left to play. Fourth down for Oak Creek. Time out, Oak Creek. Time out, Oak Creek.
So uh, there's two minutes, 19 seconds left in this game. Oak Creek's up 14 to 10. It's crucial fourth and nine for Central. And uh, Oak Creek's 41. This could decide the game right here if Central doesn't get it. And he's back to pass. And he's getting pressured. Pass is complete. The pass is complete. Gives Central a first down and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Pass is complete. First down the logs. So the uh, Bulldogs are going in first and ten from the twenty. Hand off the left side. And he steps out of bounds of about the ten. Jeremy Hoover out of carry. Pick up uh, and seven. Seven out pick up, so he's at the thirteen. <laughs> Second and three. Timeout, Oak Creek. Timeout, Oak Creek. Uh, talking over with the guys. Tony off the left side. He's got some running room. And that's a touchdown for West Dallas. Two minutes left to play in this game. Extra point is good, so it's 17 to 14, West Dallas. West Dallas Central 17, Middle Creek 13. West Hill score it's 17 to 14 Central. Knights got two minutes to do something with this ball. Got to come back and win this game. Paul Solomon and Keith Gustinovich are deep for the Knights. Central's gonna kick it deep, and Paul Salmon's gonna field it, and here's the return. Number 24, Paul Salmon on the return. Paul Salmon on the return, number 34. 
34 yard line. So it's been well, it's got a minute, a minute 50 to try to move this ball. So here we go. 17 to 14 Central. The Knights gotta get a first down here and move this ball. They need a touchdown. Our field goal to tie. Morton back to throw. He's running back to the left. He's got some room. And he's gonna. He's got some running room. And there he goes. First down Oak Creek. First down Oak Creek. What a run by Dave Mortensen. Officials time out. They got to move those scenes after that run. First and ten for the Knights and twenty-two. Minute twenty-nine. So what a forty pit yard run by Dave Morton, about a forty three yard pickup, so it's gonna be first and ten. The Knights on the twenty-two. The handoff to Orlando Lewis hit at the line. He's gonna pick up a few though. Orlando Lewis on the carry. Tackle made by Anton. Minute left to play in this game. And Morrison on the keeper up the middle. Morrison on the keeper. And he's down to about the inside the 10. <laughs> 45 seconds up the play. Third and about and third and short for the Knights. Morton on the keeper. Morton's on the keeper. First down. First down for the Knights. First and goal. First and goal for Oak Creek from the seven yard line. First and goal for the Knights for the seven. 30 seconds left to play. And Morton's going to spike it. Oak Creek has no timeouts. Ball's down. Second down. Second and goal from the seven. Goal. Second and goal from the seven for the Knights. Morrison under center. And he's back to pass. Back to Orlando Lewis. Touchdown, Oak Creek! Mortson rolls out. Tosses back to Orlando Lewis and gets in the end zone. 19 seconds to play. Orlando Lewis with the catch. And the touchdown for the Knights. Touchdown, Oak Creek. What a design and screenplay. That's for the extra points to go up by four, so the Central has to score a touchdown. The extra point is good. Okay. Wow. 
Oak Creek 21. West L7. West L17, Oak Creek 21. 19 seconds to play. Damn it, Lawrence on the two minute jump. Makes it all work, makes it happen. The Knights up by four, 19 seconds to play. Seconds to play, the Knights are going to be kicking off. Up by four. <laughs> Central Primos has to win back or get an offensive play for a touchdown. Charles Beckham off the kick. And it's a squibber. And he's going to be down. Drops down, and then, so the Bulldogs are going to have to go down. most of the field to the touchdown. Number 81, Peter Fowler. He will be first and 10 for the Bulldogs. At the 37 yard line. 18 seconds left to play. First and ten for the Bulldogs. At the 18 yard line, or at the 37 yard line, 18 seconds to play. And he's back to pass. And it's incomplete. It looks like they're trying to do the hook and ladder. Where he was behind the pass, and pass. the pass would be we need to pitch it back, try to get a score, but incomplete. So it's going to be 12 seconds left to play, and it's going to be 21 17 Oak Creek, second and 10. And he's back to pass, he's scrambling. And the pass is overthrown. First pass. So six Two seconds to play at 21-17. Third and ten. Twenty-one seventeen, six legs up in the game, third and ten for the Bulldogs. Four man rush by the Knights. And there's a quick pass, pass incomplete. Seconds up to play, fourth and ten from the 37, and West Ellis takes the time up. We gotta talk this over. Fourth 
fourth and ten. And he's back to throw. The screen's complete. And that's the game. Final score, Oak Creek 21. West Dallas Central 17. And we got tonight's Pop Tart player of the game. And your Pop Tart player of the game is David Warrenson. What a game. Again, the final score, Oak Creek 21, West Dallas Central 17. Well played game. Oak Creek scored 19 seconds. Pop Tart player of the game, David Morrison. Thanks for joining us. Oak Creek's in the semifinals. Please join us again for our next game. Please drive home safe.